Hi, I'm Matt from Howtech, and today on Technically Speaking, we're going to be looking at some of the differences between carburetors and fuel injection. What we find is a lot of guys who understand how a carburetor works are afraid of fuel injection because they don't understand it. So let's try and break down the system into its individual components so that you can understand how a fuel injection system works and then we can compare that to the carburetor. Okay, so let's start with the system hardware. This is a typical carburetor sitting atop an intake manifold. Fuel gets delivered into the engine from this single point of delivery. Now with fuel injection, we can run a very similar setup where we simply replace the carburetor with a fuel injection setup. So the big difference here is now the fuel is being delivered by these fuel injectors in the throttle body. Now let's look at the technical side of the fuel delivery, a carburetor versus a fuel injector. So with the carburetor, we have fuel that gets pumped into the bowls that then gets drawn through the needle and seat assembly and then into the intake through a pressure differential that's created by the Venturi effect. Now the Venturi effect is where a reduction in air pressure enables the fuel to be pumped from the fuel bowls into the intake manifold. But it's not quite this simple. Because the fuel doesn't burn as a liquid, it first needs to be atomized. So inside the carb here, we need the ability to introduce some air into the fuel to aid with atomization. This process is called emulsification. And that's where air bleeds and emulsion, emulsion tubes come into the equation. Now emulsion tubes carry fuel from the fuel bowls to the venturis and pre-atomize the fuel by mixing it with air that's been channeled in through the air bleeds. Think of this effect a little bit like drinking through a straw that's got a hole in it. In an EFI system, Fuel is pumped at a high pressure into the fuel rail. Then, through the fuel injector, fuel is delivered directly into the intake manifold. Now, the fuel injector does a very good job at atomizing the fuel directly, so there's no need for any emulsion circuit or any air bleeds with an EFI system. This simplifies things a lot. Now, because the load and RPM of an engine is constantly changing from idle to part throttle to cruise to wide open throttle, Metering an engine's fuel demand solely through a mechanical device requires several networks or circuits. So to adjust the amount of fuel that gets delivered into the engine on a carburetor, you adjust the size of the jets and or the number and size and location of the holes in the emulsion tubes. In an EFI system, the fuel injector is controlled by an electronic control unit or an ECU. Now this ECU pulses the fuel injector to meet a precision amounts of fuel into the intake manifold based on the engine's current operating conditions. So all Haltech engine control units are fully programmable, meaning that you use a laptop to adjust the amount of fuel that gets delivered to the engine. Within the ECU programming software, there's a base fuel map. Think of this as your carb jets, but rather than just having a primary, a secondary, and a power valve to adjust, each one of the cells within the map can be adjusted. This base fuel map can have up to 32 RPM and 32 load cells, or effectively 1,024 different jets to cover every operating condition that the engine undergoes. And then they, they can all be adjusted at the stroke of a key. Now this is a direct comparison with carbs and EFI in its simplest form. EFI, however, does open up the possibilities for more precise engine tuning and fuel delivery. For example, rather than all the fuel being delivered from a central location, like it is with a carburetor or in this kind of fuel injection setup, with fuel injection, we can actually deliver fuel to each and every individual cylinder. This gives the tuner the ability to trim the fuel delivery on each cylinder individually to get the tune up just right for each cylinder. For hot rodders, you can introduce individual throttle bodies into the engine. 
Now this also gives you the ability to tune each and every cylinder individually for a correct tuner. An air fire system can also compensate for variations in fuel quality, temperature, altitude, traction, pretty much any other variable that you can think of. So whilst EFI may appear daunting to start with, it opens up a world of limitless tuning possibilities for the hot rodding or racing professional. So if you like carburetors, you're going to love fuel injection. Don't be afraid, take the plunge, dive right in and get a Haltech EFI system on your next build. If you're still not convinced, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find more tech videos, tuning guides, workshop profiles, and plenty of helpful information to get you more comfortable with EFI systems. Well, I'm Matt from Haltech, and I'll see you next time.